What's up folks? I have been given access to some new features here in Sudorite and I'm here to show you them today. I will probably make a bunch more videos on this topic because there's a lot that we can go deep in. But there is a new feature coming soon to Sudorite. I was lucky enough to get early access to it. I don't have a specific release date, but I know it's coming, so definitely get ready to check them out. But this so we have, of course, the normal Sudorite dashboard, and I actually learned today that they have an updated dashboard that looks so much better and integrates Story Engine and does a lot of cool things. But that's actually a later update, I believe. Right now, this right here, the plugins, is the new thing coming to Sudorite very, very soon. And plugins, the idea behind plugins is that the creators of Sudorite have over time realized that their way of prompting the AI is not necessarily the way you need to prompt the AI. And there may be very specific, hyper-specific use cases where you would need a specific result out of the AI that they wouldn't necessarily provide because it's too specific. And so with that in mind, they've created this way for people to create their own AI prompting, essentially, within Sudorite, and that it's called plugins. So the main thing, I believe here it used to say other or something along those lines, and now it says plugins. You click here. All of these used to be here before, shrink ray, twist, characters, poem, but now we have explore plugins listed here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're taken to this, essentially a plugin dashboard. There's a search bar here. I believe they're adding categories and things to make these extra filterable because that is the only issue right now. But you can sort these by most popular, by newest, by added. Like if you have added any plugins or yours, meaning the ones that you've created. And so... I haven't added any yet, so let's go ahead and check some of these out. And I'll show you exactly what they look like under the hood in just a second. So let's look at, let's see, distinct dialogue rewrite. Let's see what this one looks like. You click on it, and it actually shows you the exact prompt that it uses here in Sudorite. And it also gives you a description of what it does you have to do that when you are creating these plugins so this one says this plugin will analyze the highlighted passage to determine the dialogue characteristics of each character then it will rewrite the passage to make the dialogue more distinct from each other and so we can now go here to the prompt and actually read what is going on in this prompt which i gotta say even if you don't use pseudo write that much just having access to these prompts and seeing them, it could actually be a really cool thing because you could use them and adapt them in different ways. But let's look at what this prompt is. So it says, you are an expert character analyzer and story writer. Given a passage from a story, you will return a list of characters and specific characteristics about their dialogue that make each of them, that make them each distinct from each other. This description should be a few sentences long with specific details. If the scene is written in first person POV, include the narrator. You will use the following exact format. And then it, gives, it says it'll give us an analysis, character one name and the dialogue description, character two name and the dialogue description, end of analysis. And then it gives you the content. And so what it does then is it, creates a second prompt. So that's the first prompt to analyze the dialogue. And then the second prompt goes here. You are a helpful literary writing assistant that when given a passage of text and a list of characters along with descriptions of their dialogue style, you will rewrite the passage to make each character's dialogue more distinct. You will keep the rest of the content of the passage the same. Start with, start the rewrite with da 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 like this. And then it gives the rewritten passage, etc. So if we wanted to do this, we could just hit add. And now let's go into, let's go to the home and we can find some dialogue here. There isn't much here in this particular story. This is my superhero story that I put together in my short story video. So let's go ahead and try this and say distinct dialogue rewrite. And over here on the side, 
it has given us an analysis. And funny enough, I'm looking at the rewrite here and I it's not that different, but the changes that I see that it made, I actually didn't like. And that's probably because this is using a GPT model over here. And this was generated with the Claude model, which in my opinion is a little bit better. Uh, let's go back into plugins for a second and uh, look at a couple of others. Uh, so there are a whole bunch and some of these will, some of these are very dependent on the person and I understand it's not there yet, but I understand you will be able to make some of these private and some of them public. So if you have some that's really just a thing for you and you don't really feel the need to share it with other people, then you can keep it private. That's not there yet, but I'm guessing it'll be there by the release or shortly after. So here's one that could be interesting in summarize the chapter. If we add that one, then come back here to the main text. Then if we hit summarize chapter, Oh, we got to select the whole thing. Say summarize chapter. It should summarize the whole thing for us. In this chapter, the protagonist Foresight continues to grapple with a ferocious battle against the malevolence and attempt to disarm a bomb threatening Metropolis City. And so, yeah, it's summarizing the chapter. It did a pretty decent job here. So how exactly do these work? So let's go back here and let's actually go to create a plugin. And we're going to create a very, very simple plugin so you can see what the process is like. We're going to call this summarize text and there's a, a number of things that we can do here. So first of all, you have to put a description in here. So we just say this plugin summarizes the selection, which is pretty, pretty much what we just saw. We're going to set this as unlisted and then, and then you put in your prompt. Please summarize the following text. And then I believe, all right, I had to click advanced here, but it gave me some of the different variables. So these are the ones you want to look at. You want to, and in this case, we want it to select the highlighted text to summarize. And so we're going to select highlighted text. We're going to, let's redo this prompt here. System, you are a helpful writing assistant. Yeah, we can just leave that. And we'll just say, please summarize the following text. And then we paste that in. And here's an interesting thing that we can do. We can select which model it's using. And right now they just have the GPT models. So all of the GPT 3.5 and the GPT 4 models. I'm going to select GPT 4, actually this, this 4 right here. And you can adjust the temperature frequency, all of that stuff you can adjust here in Suda, right? Which is pretty cool. And then we could add a prompt stage. So let's say once it had summarized that, we wanted it to do something else with the summary. So let's just say, well, first of all, we have to, it gives us here a, a starting prompt. It says this was the output of the first prompt. And then it gives us the prompt result. Let's say, give me some ideas of what should happen next. So now what this plugin will do is it will not only summarize the text, it'll give us ideas for what should happen after that. We select, uh, we want this one to be GPT-4 as well. And you can do multiple steps in this manner. So that's really cool as well. There's a lot of potential possibilities with that. And, you know, I'm not particularly creative in these kind of examples, but I'm sure we'll see all kinds of cool things coming out from the community, which speaking of community, I once again recommend you join my Discord. We got hundreds of people in there now. And if you want to talk Sudorite, if you want to maybe talk plugins and all of the cool plugins that you will hopefully be able to do, then come join us and we'll, we'll get talking about it. Another thing I wanted to say about these models here, that, like I said, they only have the GPT models right now, but I talk to them and they are hoping to get Claude in here soon. And then maybe even some of the other models, the let's, let's just say the, some of the open source models so that you could access almost any model here, which means any not safe for work, work content would be easily doable right here inside the pseudo, right? So that's important to keep in mind if you write not safe for work content or excessively violent or gory details, anything like that, that pseudo or that Claude or ChatGPT wouldn't take, potentially you're going to be able to do it in here with these plugins. But I'm just going to keep it to this. 
and let's see anything else I want to add here I think this is good I am going to say I'm going to change this summarize and get suggestions this plugin summarizes the selection and gives you ideas on where it should go next I'm actually going to say here on the second one I say give me some I'm going to say give me five ideas on what should happen next in a bulleted list all right so we'll publish this plugin now and I'm going to add it now we go back to the plugins back to the home I guess and now let's select this section select our plugins and say summarize and get suggestions which is the plugin that we just put together and see if this actually works all right, so it's giving me the output from the second part of the prompt. It's given me five places where it could go. The protagonist, determined not to let the vision become reality, uses their advanced technology suit to locate the source of the burning projectile, formulates a plan to prevent it from being launched. So this could be a really good way to get ideas for what happens next. You just select what you just wrote, and it will give you ideas on where to go next. I think that's a kind of a cool thing. Now the elephant in the room is does this account against your words and i believe they're working things out on exactly how this is going to be built because there's a there's an issue with the prompting because pseudorite is not only paying for the output that you're being given but they're also paying for the input it costs money to input an ai and if we have a prompt that's say like two or three thousand words long that is going to be an issue in pseudorite because that's an expensive prompt and right now you would only be charged for this amount here the output and this is why pseudorite is a paid program because they have to front all these costs and very often like if you're using up your entire 90 word 90,000 word allotment that is costing them you know not quite as much but almost as much money as it takes for uh, for you to do it the normal way so that's something to keep in mind it costs them i mean obviously they have overhead and other things that they're paying for as well for all of the employees at suda right um, but they're not just paying for this output they're paying for the input as well and so that's going to be something interesting for them to figure out for the people that have these like expansive huge prompts how are they going to count that against your word count uh, but right now as i understand it it's this here whatever amount of words this is that is what would count against your word count so that is something to keep in mind i know they're thinking a lot about what they're going to be doing with pricing and all of that those things because it's a different world than it was when they just started out and so we'll we'll see what happens there but i'm just really thrilled with this i'm excited to see the creativity that people have like what like what if you were to create a very specific plugin that you couldn't really do anywhere else like hat you know like this will allow you to get deeper into specific literary techniques that wouldn't necessarily be possible in pseudorite otherwise unless you created the prompt yourself or somebody else created the prompt for you and so uh, this will be cool and you might ask like well why can't i just take those prompts and do them in chat gpt and the answer is you could but what this does is it simplifies the process significantly so that if you have it's essentially like having a a prompt that you can just do at the touch of a button and that's really what pseudorite does best is it simplifies the whole process and makes it really easy for anyone to just come in here and work on their book with ai without having to do all this complicated prompt engineering that you have to do with chat gpt or or with claude if you have those prompt engineering skills then it might make more sense for you to just do it in Claude or ChatGPT, but that's not really who Pseudorite is targeting here. Pseudorite is reaching out to those people who don't necessarily want to learn all that stuff. They just want some quick and easy shortcuts that will get them the results that they want. And having this plugins feature here is going to be able to get you pretty much anything 
that you want uh, either from something you created yourself or something that someone else created and made public here. So a lot of cool possibilities here. One thing I actually forgot to mention, and let's go back into creating a plugin here and go to advanced. And one of the things you can do, you'll notice here in under advanced that you can see the brain dump, genre, style, synopsis, characters, and outline. These are from Story Engine, you may recognize. And I think there's some bits here that I saw in a demo. I guess you can have, they've got some of the Story Engine stuff there. But there, there might be some pieces that are missing here. But basically, you'll be able to do your own prompts through Story Engine as well. And I think they're renaming it. They're going to be calling it Story Bible so that you can have like your list of characters and everything there. And uh, it will be eventually available instead of going here to Story Engine and seeing everything in this format, it'll be available here on the side, much like the feedback that we've been wanting for a while because I've long felt that Story Engine would work better just in here in the main dashboard and they are moving to that in the near future. I don't know when exactly, but that is something they're working on. So that's really cool. Um, but these prompts, these plugins will be able to interact with that information as well, which will be huge if you are writing, uh, say like you're writing a scene and you want it to pull in the characters from your scene, or you want to create your own version of story engine. So let's say story engine isn't really working for you you don't like the way it works and so you can create your own prompts that do the same thing that story engine does now but in your own way it's just there's unlimited possibilities here so i'm really excited for this this kind of got me fired up again about pseudorite it had been a while since they've had a significant update like this not since story engine have i been this excited about it so i'm, I'm excited to share that with you we'll do some more videos maybe highlighting some of the best plugins out there but those videos will probably have to wait until we've been it's been out for a little while. And in the meantime, go ahead and let me know any ideas for plugins that you have. And maybe we'll do some videos putting those plugins into action. I can, uh, yeah, we can see how it goes. So with that in mind, I'll see you in the next video.